Hello everybody, this is me, Ethan here. Welcome back to another custom LEGO minifigure video. Today's video is recommended by Apprentice Brick. He recommended some Polar Express customs, so today I'm doing that. Today I'll be showing you how to build Billy, Hero Boy, and Hero Girl. Obviously not some super creative names, but they're the main three kids from the Polar Express movie, so I thought I'd go ahead and make them since it was recommended by Apprentice Brick. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first up for Hero Boy, you will want to use some light tan legs. He has yellow pants in the movie, but obviously LEGO doesn't make any yellow pants because if they were yellow and they were in a normal LEGO set, they would have no pants on. So tan is the closest color I could get. Then I used the torso from Harry Potter from Aragog's Lair, and I think this looks somewhat well. I believe he has a yellow shirt underneath as well, but that's the closest I could get to, I believe, like his robes that he wears. Then for the head, I used the head from the Rebel A-Wing LEGO Star Wars 4 Plus set. I think this works somewhat well. It may look a bit too old for him, but he's got kind of that stern face throughout the entire movie. And then for the hairpiece, I used Han Solo's hairpiece that came in the 20th anniversary uh, battle pack set. So that should be a pretty um, easy hairpiece to get a hold of. So there is Hero Boy. Next for Billy, I used some short legs in the nougat color. This doesn't really match with the torso, but I don't have another tan short legs, so that's the closest I could get. And then I used uh, one of the minifigures from the Harry Potter series. I can't remember his name, but I swapped it out with some tan hands. And this looks a lot like his pajamas that he wears in the movie. Then for the head, I used Anakin Skywalker's from the Mighty, Mighty Micro set from this year, which is super cheap. And it's also in the 20th anniversary Anakin's Pod Racer. And then I used the hairpiece from Flashback Garmadon, Garmadon, and I think this works somewhat well. I think Anakin's actual um, hairpiece from the 20th anniversary set works a lot better. So if you want to use that, go ahead and use that. But this is the closest hairpiece I have because I just got it in the Microfighter. And the Microfighter doesn't come with that hairpiece. So there is Billy, the only character with the name. <laughs> And lastly, we have Hero Girl. I saved this one for last because it's my least favorite one out of the bunch, just because it doesn't look super accurate. First for the legs, I used Dash's legs from the Lego Incredibles line. And then for the torso, I used the Cat Lady from the Lego Movie 2's torso. Flipped around, and I gave her the pink arms from the pink classic Spaceman from the Lego Movie 2. And then Cho Chang's hands. And the reason I don't like this is because I actually use Cho Chang's head. I don't have any African-American female head, so this is the closest I could get. I know she's not Asian, but it's just, I don't know. It's just the closest I could get. Then the hairpiece isn't super accurate either. I just use this Black Widow hair in black, which I got from an Easter set back in like 2017 or 2018, I believe. Doesn't look super accurate either, but that's just the closest I could get. So there it is, Hero Girl. So there you guys have it, there are my three Polar Express customs. I hope you enjoyed this custom video, as it's one of my favorite Christmas movies, and I think it's a pretty good book too. So if you did enjoy this video, please sure like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, and have a great day.